I think, you know, we just had this conversation, the, the whole group, I mean, we knew this match was going to be tough. They're undefeated. They're ranked top 20 in the country, and obviously they're good. You know, and if you look at the scores, we did a phenomenal job in singles. We competed very well. Uh, but unfortunately, we're, we're still trying to figure out how to, to get it started. You know, we're, we're still not... Um, performing at our capabilities yet in doubles and it's killing us you know i mean you're, you're down 2-1 every time you're down 0-3 it starts uh, weighing heavy on your shoulders going into singles we gotta figure that out on how to how to get started in, in doubles a little better you know I, the first hour is, is is just not there yet so we gotta keep working for sure do you think the early start time today i mean well i guess 10 o'clock but still earlier than what you maybe normally play had anything to do with it on a monday eh, no, maybe, I don't know, I haven't thought about that, you know, we're coming back from spring break and, you know, we, we did take a few days off, but, you know, we practice at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, we, pl we practice early on Friday, so I don't think the time was, was, was the problem, you know, but, you know, uh, we, we have played 3 o'clock in the afternoons and, and it, the issue seems to be the same, so we'll try to keep figuring it out. So as you're moving forward, even as a player yourself, 5-4 is a tough one. Uh and tennis is as much mental as it is physical. How how will your players bounce back for what, from it? What do they need to do? Well, I think you know um, they, they have to understand that winning and losing it's it's part of the being a competitor, number one. And you can't define your success just by Ws and Ls. I mean that's what everyone else is going to look online is oh well St. Andrews lost, but they weren't here. They didn't see what what the match dynamic was, and they have to understand we we're really really close. I think Davor was asked to step in last minute because we had a couple issues and you know uh, as a player in college I was never the last match on 3 all in the first set I mean I've been the ma last match on several times but it's usually late in the third set so I don't know what it feels like to play a set and a half being the last match on and all eyes on you that's something that you know it's gonna make him stronger uh, the other thing you gotta understand is you know in the end, the season comes down to two weekends. You know, what happens in March doesn't really matter because, you know, if you win your conference, you get the automatic bid into regionals. You win regionals, you make nationals. It's two weekends, you know. You go 2-17 and 17 for the regular season. You make it into your conference, and you win conference, all of a sudden you're in the NCAA tournament. You win two matches, all of a sudden you're Sweet 16, and wow, what a great season. You know, so we gotta keep working, we gotta keep trying to be better. 1% better every day, that's all I can ask. All right, thanks a lot, good luck, Coach. No problem.